For safety reasons, aircraft engines have built-in redundancy features, like dual spark plugs and dual ignition systems, so that vital components have a backup. Rising gas prices and eco-awareness are compelling manufacturers to build aircraft engines that are more efficient and less polluting. Aircraft engines are remarkable pieces of engineering. To build a four-cylinder engine, a worker wraps abrasive tape around what's called a bearing journal on a crankshaft. Using a polishing jack, he polishes the journal to the correct diameter, which he verifies with a digital snap gauge. An operator then oils the journal and attaches a connecting rod. These link the pistons to the crankshaft, which turns to generate power. Then he applies gasket sealant on the edge of the crankcase and silk thread that acts like a gasket. So when the two halves of the crankcase are joined, the engine won't leak oil. He places a camshaft into one side of the crankcase and measures the clearance to make sure it's a tight fit. Then he oils it to ensure there's no friction. They place the crankshaft and rod assembly into the crankcase, then join the two halves together. To prevent the connecting rods from hitting the sides of the housing, they put on what are called torque plates. He adds a little sealant to hold a gasket in place, then attaches an accessory housing, which holds all the gears and hoses that are mounted on the back of the engine. He installs the sump that holds the oil supply, then attaches a piston to each connecting rod. Now, he mounts a cylinder onto a piston and connects the part to the engine. He'll mount and secure all four cylinders this way. He inserts hydraulic tappets and then shroud tubes. He attaches them to the cylinder using a retainer. He inserts a push rod into each tube and fits a rocker arm onto each rod, completing the cylinder and valve action assembly. He steam cleans the engine, then he paints it with rust proofing enamel paint. Next come the spark plugs one on the top and one on the bottom of each cylinder. He grounds and then installs two magnetos. These devices generate the electricity for the spark plugs, which ignite the fuel in the cylinder. He attaches the spark plug wires from the magneto to the spark plugs, then verifies the engine timing. Next come the heat shields, the intake pipes, all the spark plug connections and drain tubes, and finally a fuel injector. An operator then attaches a testing propeller to the engine to keep it cool during testing. He runs the engine using controls like a pilot would use and certifies everything from engine speed and temperature to fuel pressure and airflow. Hours later, he checks the oil filter for signs of foreign material or contamination, and this engine passes the test. A worker then puts preservative oil into the cylinders. This special oil safeguards the engine en route to the customer whether they be general aviation manufacturers or individual owners. Once installed in the airplane and after the standard pre-flight checks are done, 
the four-cylinder engine allows the pilot to take to the clear blue skies in total confidence.